Hey witches! Welcome back to a new video. Today we're here with a new Marvel Infinity update and I'm here with Queen Storm. She's a game best for 800 Robux and I'm gonna go over the update one by one because there's three new characters. One is Storm, 800 Robux, two is Psylocke for 500 Robux, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, and three is a coin character, Iceman for 100,000 coins. Let's start with Queen Storm! So first is her flight. I kind of love it. But there's no wind particles yet. I think they're still going to edit, but um, it's gorgeous. Look at her hair. I really like the hair. I'm really glad they went for the ponytail. And I hope in the future she gets like a skin for Goddess Storm or Hellfire Goddess Storm. Because she deserves a skin already. Because okay, so there's Lightning Beam. Very overpowered. Very overpowered. Okay, so now we've got Windblast. You hold it and you put your cursor on your target. Now we've got Thunder Strikes, and it's one of my personal favorites. Period. Okay, so now we've got Tornado Spin, and it doesn't only suck in the players, but also nearby items, unless they already change it, so let's test. Helicopter, helicopter. Let's go to the cars. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, iconic. Bam. Next is Wind Strike. It's like... An airbending push. Whoosh. 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 Okay, you are gonna love this one. Now we've got a strong wind. Look, look, look. Bye, Felicia. And it also works on cars and loose items. Next is Tornado. You can't really aim it, you just have to stand in front of someone and hope they reach the area. But I hope they adjust it so that you can aim and use your cursor to move it around. Now we've got Hurricane, which is kind of an ult. Look. Period, queen. And now there is a wind boost, which you have to click on double space. And it damages the person. It damages. Wait, let me see if I can catch it on video. Um, period. Period. Now we've got lightning teleportation, and it is exactly what you think it is. Period. Period. Love it. Love it. Let's do it again. Yes! Now we've got Icicle Barrage. Ta-da! This now comes one of my favorites, which is Blizzard. It creates a, well, a Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> and it freezes the target, and if you spam fast enough, you can combo it at the end, so you can, like, attack them immediately after, if you're fast enough. Look! And I'm spamming E. Yeah, look, look, look! Now, last but not least, Wind Shields. Okay. Period. Period. I hope they're gonna change the animation to- What the hell? <gasps> Her hand is gone! Oh! Or did it bend back? No, it's gone! <gasps> I hope, like, they- Change the animation to like her stretching her arms. 
because her bending her arms is a little weird. But that's Storm. Let's move on to Psylocke. Psylocke? Psylocke? I have no idea how to pronounce her name. I'm sorry. Okay, we're here with Psylocke, and she's 500 Robux, like I said before. Um, let's start with her flight. Look, it's so smooth. Look at the animation. Hello? This is by far the smoothest flight in Marvel Infinity. Hands down, hands down. Now you've got psionic plates. Here you go. And with mouse click, you can beat her up. Ooh! It's very overpowered, period. <laughs> Look at the particles. Just appreciate the smooth particles. Gene Grey skin win. Because we need base gene with these psionic particles. Okay, so next is psionic boomerangs. Ooh, period. They do about 50 damage. And it's quite spammable. Now we've got psionic blast. And let go. <gasps> Smacked her. Right in the face. Smacked her. And now we've got psionic pierce. <laughs> that is so slay. And now we've got sprints. I love that she can run too. I love that she can run too, period. Period. And now we've got Psionic Replenish, and it restores your health and stamina. Although, it's not really that necessary, because you regenerate pretty fast, but when you do need it, it's there. I think it's pretty handy. Now we've got Psionic Shield. Looks cute, see? Looks cute, see? I really like the pink. Look, it's pulsating. It's like pulsating. Like, try me. Now we've got Psionic Slash. <laughs> Next up is Psionic Meltdown. Look how gorgeous. Look how freaking gorgeous. And it does deal damage to everyone around in the area. Next up is Psionic Smash. It's a huge ability. Period. Now we're regenerated. Let's do it again, and this time a little bit soon. Out. Period. And there is no lag. No lag whatsoever. Next up is Psionic Daggers, and they are pretty spammable. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Do you want more stamina? Bam! Just like that. Okay, next up is Psionic Pain. Period, 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 period! Yes, yes, yes. Gagger. Gagger. Period. Yes. Okay, that was Psylocke. Psylocke. S Psylocke. <laughs> Moving on to Iceman. Okay, look at this cutie, Iceman. And, oh my god. Okay, not, uh, 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 let's start with his flight. Ice Path. And she only has to, like, click on it once, like on F1s. And then to deactivate his flight, you can click F again. You don't have to hold it. Okay, moving on to Ice Burst. Period. Next one is Ice Beams. Can we appreciate how powerful coin characters are in Marvel Infinity? Like... You do not struggle against Game Pass characters. If you grind for the coins and buy the character, you get your money's worth, period. Now, next one is Punch. Ooh. Moving on to Ice Eruption. <laughs> Block of Ice. <laughs> I like it. I like it. 
Next one is Ice Age. Look how cute! It's like Elsa, but like Ice Spiky version. Like, they actually got creative. The next one is Ice Shards. Moving on to Ice Shield. Look how cool that is. He makes himself a block of ice, and there's like a cool animation of like holding it up. Look how cool. This is... This is cool. Here he is. Now next is Ice Storm. There is not a lot of hail, but it does do quite some damage if you are hit, so it kind of balances it out. Next one up is Ice Crush. Period. Although with this one, I wish I didn't reuse the ice block falling particles from the other one. But it's still perfect. It's still fine. It's cool. Not that big of a deal. Last but not least is Ice Slide. Hello, Jean. Can you do this? No, you can't. <laughs> So now we've done all three characters from this update. There is an update coming next week. They are working hard on the game, and I'm glad that it's serving quality. I'm now going to rank the characters individually. So first up, we've got Storm, and I'm going to give her a 9 out of 10, just because she was developed so well. The only reason she has one minus point, so not a 10, was her animation of the shield and not having flight particles when using her flight. Like, I would have loved some wind and maybe some electricity in her hands. But it's cool. Solid 9 out of 10. Then we've got our precious Psy... Psylocke? Psy... Psy... You know what I mean. <laughs> I'm actually gonna rate her a 10 out of 10. There was no flaws with her. There is no lack with her. She was done amazingly, and she sets the example of what Marvel Infinity has to offer. Now for our little Iceman. I'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10. He's pretty good for a coin character. He was done amazingly too, and I think he's definitely worth the price. Like, 100,000 can easily be farmed, especially in the modes now, the game modes. Because whenever you win, you get a big prize. So, easy as that. The rating of the whole update together is a 9 out of 10. This update is a 9 out of 10, and I cannot wait for next week. Um, I have a question though, guys. Would you guys prefer Marvel Infinity to remove the unlock system for the abilities? Like, you have to go to Skill Tree and unlock your abilities. Do you guys want to keep that, or do you guys want it removed? Like, I am so curious what you guys think, because whenever I see people complain about Marvel Infinity, this is one of the first complaints that I see. People are like, I don't want to unlock my abilities. And I get that. I get that. It did work when Marvel Infinity started. It wanted to be a little bit different, but I feel like we have to move on from that. Like, people clearly... But I want to know what you guys, as my audience, or as players, think of this system. I don't mind, because I've got the tokens for it, but that's because I farmed a lot. But if you're new, I can see why this is an issue. I just wanted to say that. So overall, update 9 out of 10. I'm really proud of the developers, and they did a good job. They did a good job. This makes me want to play more. So guys, did I showcase them well enough? Are you going to buy them? And if you enjoyed my content, like and subscribe to help me out and grow. <laughs> um, I have nothing else to say. I think this is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.